Hey there! Hey there! I'm Amgris, I'm from Russia, and today I'm actually traveling or actually escaping from Moscow to uh, another region because here in Moscow it's becoming quite unbearable to survive during this quarantine times. Uh, I'm going by train and uh, you can see uh, two different types of trains uh, behind me. Can you guess which one of them I'm taking? Uh, just uh, vote, uh, the vote will be somewhere above. Follow me on this journey and I will show you how it is actually to travel by train in Russia. I don't know about you, but uh, frankly speaking, I'm really sick and tired sick <laughs> sick and tired of uh, covid and uh, all this uh, stuff that's why i decided to finally make a video that's not related to the whole quarantine and uh, all those things although this trip is somehow related to it but uh, nevertheless uh, vote here if uh, you're also tired of um, all this uh, hype about the virus and also leave a comment let's discuss it and for those who are watching this video from the future how are things going over there how will it actually end uh, Will it? That is actually one of the new trains and it has uh, two floors. Uh, so we're on the second floor uh, and uh, usually it's just one floor, obviously. This uh, train is uh, pretty new, so you can see all this clean and uh, new stuff uh, in the um, old trains, although they sometimes do have some kind of special atmosphere there, just because they're pretty old. And uh, actually, you can also travel by trains that were made during the imperial times before the revolution but um, that's rare and uh, it costs money room tour when we are entering uh, air compartment you can obviously see two beds and uh, a window mostly that's it but uh, let's look at the details come on in so if we're talking about the beds uh, under the uh, lowest bed uh, we have some space uh, for our bags and uh, so you can just uh, pull the bed up and uh, get the access uh, to all the stuff that you have and then you just close it back uh, we also have a table and uh, by the way there is this uh, um, bottle opener that's kind of uh, helpful uh, just because i guess they don't want you to ruin the end of the table and i also think that uh, you can uh, put it up something like this but uh, i've never done this uh, what else do we have here uh, we have this kind of really weird uh, i'm actually really surprised that they still make this kind of shelves but uh, maybe they're somehow helpful i don't know uh, so it's just uh, can be fixed over there um, this thing is also a reason for me because uh, i sometimes put a towel over here and uh, like uh, you can also put uh, a book here and it won't fall but uh, that's a pretty Mm, strange usage for the for this thing uh, okay uh, also in the new trains you actually have uh, a proper lightning and you also have an electric socket that is actually a proper one so you can um, charge your phone or your laptop and again that's a new train and uh, you don't have them in let's say a third class um, sleeping train what we have here uh, just uh, a, a place to hang your um, clothes. Uh, again, it's Russia, so you probably you have a fur coat or something like that. Um, also, uh, to get um, upstairs, uh, you need some kind of staircase. So here it is. It's uh, in different trains. It's uh, done in uh, different styles, but uh, usually it's over here. And you can uh, pull it back so that it won't uh, get in the way. But I personally uh, don't usually use them, and because I was traveling by train since uh, childhood, I. At first it was fun to just uh, climb up there without a staircase, now it's uh, more like a habit. Uh, so let's try whether I can still do this. If I fail it will be really funny. Yeah, I still can do this. Uh, very inconvenient over here, especially in the in this train because it has uh, two floors and obviously it is less uh, spacious and the ceiling is really low and you can see that over here it's a bit higher but still you can't properly sit here and read a book always you're like crooked but what we have here is uh, this thing that actually helps you to not fall down because uh, again in the old trains you don't have this thing because uh, Russians are tough you don't need a thing to hold you because if you can't hold yourself uh, just you are not russian probably 
And uh, by the way, uh, at the end of this video, I will tell you what you can actually get for the train ticket. And uh, that is like uh, things that they don't tell you when you buy a ticket. So stay tuned. If you're booking a ticket uh, for a Russian uh, railway train, you can find several types of uh, compartments. And if we're talking about long distance, probably you don't want to consider um, sitting class. Like just sitting for 8, uh, 16 hours doesn't sound like fun. Although if you're traveling from Moscow to St. Petersburg, uh, it might take you only 3-4 hours and sitting is okay. If you want, I can make a different video about traveling uh, between Moscow and St. Petersburg. So if we're talking about sleeping apartments, you can come across uh, three types of them. So first one is the cheapest one. It's a third class sleeping compartment, something like that. Uh, it's when you have uh, uh, two beds here and then you don't have this door, but you have uh, just um, an open space and you have uh, two beds, um, like the upper and the lower one. We have the second class uh, sleeping apartment. It looks like this. So you have a door and uh, you're like in a small room with uh, four people sleeping. Also the uh, first class sleeping apartment, it's uh, when you have only two beds, lower beds, and uh, there aren't any beds here. So it's more spacious. But uh, just because right now it's the a whole quarantine and uh, special rules for traveling. You don't uh, have to travel with four people here because uh, if you're traveling with two people, you can just buy two beds and have the whole compartment. It's like if you buy one bed, only one person can be here. So it's never four people just because uh, of the social distancing thing. And uh, in the third class, uh, only three people instead of uh, six people. More spacious and uh, um, you're paying just for the second class and you get uh, almost the conditions of the first class. And uh, while I was filming, the stewardess or whatever she is called uh, knocked on um, the door and uh, said that she had to uh, check the um, documents and also she had to check the temperature. Uh, when you are traveling uh, by this type of uh, 
class, like second class train, uh, usually you have uh, some uh, bed clothing and uh, sometimes uh, you, it's already uh, put um, on the bed, sometimes you can do this yourself. Uh, you also have a towel over there, uh, you have uh, pillows, a blanket, uh, and if it's a bit uh, um, upper class uh, train, uh, you can get some uh, stuff uh, for free, like uh, here, let's see what we have. Because I think that's just uh, some slippers, but probably not just the slippers. Um, yeah, I was right. So basically, what you've got here, uh, here you have the uh, tissue, wet tissue. Uh, you have uh, this thing to put on your shoes, and uh, that is, I think, the most uh, helpful thing is that you have a toothbrush and toothpaste. So I think I will actually use it in the morning because I haven't t told you but uh, Russia is big so to get uh, uh, to my uh, hometown it will take us uh, I think 15 hours uh, by this train and uh, that's actually not far uh, just one uh, thousand uh, kilometers from Moscow and uh, it's not the farthest region that we have here in Russia so what you can actually get uh, while you get on the train, apart from the things that are included in the ticket, like the bed cloth and uh, slippers. Maybe they don't tell you that, but uh, you can get uh, several things for free uh, when you're on the train. First of all, you can get some hot water for tea, for uh, instant noodles or whatever you eat uh, on the train. Or, for example, oatmeal. I think you can make oatmeal uh, with hot water as well. And you can actually get some games uh, for free to waste some time that you're spending over here. And uh, those games are chess and checkers uh, that you can ask the uh, stewardess or, again, I don't remember her position. And she will give you those uh, games uh, for free. Have you got any questions about Russia? Leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification button. And you can also follow me on Instagram, let's say. Also the link in the description below. See ya!